Nightmare on 4K from Severin Films, also known as Nightmare on a Damaged Brain. Uh, never thought I'd see today when we had this movie on a 4K disc. Because I remember, like, this was probably one of the more infamous Code Red DVDs back in the day. And everybody wanted the Code Red DVD. I had the Code Red DVD. Um, and I'm not going to front. I'm not going to lie. This is not a good movie. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to piss off anybody. I don't want to make anybody at Severed Man because I'm pretty sure they would know that this isn't a good movie either. But it's such a strange movie, and it does have some pretty good gore effects, even though it's not really by Tom Savini, as we learn in the extra features. I think he swung the axe for the decapitation scene. That's about it. But he described that in special features. That's jumping ahead. This movie, um, for years, was you know a movie that touted itself as having special features from Tom Savini, but that was not the case. Um, does it look good in 4K? Well, I'll say this much. While it probably isn't the best looking 4K you're ever going to see, it looks okay. The dark colors are nice. Um, didn't really notice a lot of grain in anything, which like I say before, I'm not an expert on the subject. I just know if it looks good or if it looks questionable. It doesn't really pop, but positive that it looks better than the old DVD or in the old Blu-ray that I, that I had previously from Code Red, which if you're keeping track at home, this was the old Code Red Blu-ray. That was the 35th anniversary. I'm not sure really when this thing was released at this point because I feel like I got this thing forever ago. I feel like I got this in like 2013. Yeah, 20, yeah 2013, yeah. That's when the master was. So this one touted a 2013 master audio commentary making of Nightmare in New York, Nightmare interview with people, blah, 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 as you can see there. The Severn one gives us uh, pretty sure that's the same audio commentary from the other one I just showed you, another audio commentary. Then you get The Nightmare of Nightmare, which is the Tom Smith thing I talked about. The stuff that nightmares are made of, interviews, nightmares on many streets, location tour, open Matt Peep show sequence, deleted scenes, you know, more and more stuff, way more stuff uh, than you got here. But um, just offhand, let's say named it, uh, I guess... Is there not? Is there a location? It's okay, Nightmare on Many Streets. That's a location to her. This one. It's just interviews. So, interviews. So, you may have to double check this as we're kind of on the spot here. But obviously, if you're looking for a superior version, yes, we can toss this one aside. This is looks wise, sound wise, and probably even in the extra wise, going by the list on the back. This is a superior release from Severn Films, and you shouldn't be surprised at that. The movie's a little bit hard to follow. You got a guy, the movie opens up with like this dude's in bed, this woman, this kid's watching. Blood starts flying ahead, rose. Guy wakes up from a nightmare in his bed, then he wakes up from a nightmare <laughs> from that in like a crazy house being injected with stuff. Uh, the plot's a little out there. It's a little weird, but we finally learn, you know, it was first we're in two different locations. Is this guy's in the loony bin for whatever reasons, he escapes. And then meanwhile, down in Florida, where he is going to stalk a woman and a kid, and the kid's kind of crazy himself. There's a bunch of random things that happen in this movie. And it kind of bounces along at the snail's pace at different times, other than when you finally get the cool gore here and there and all that good stuff. So it's a strange movie. It's a weird movie. I would only give it a two and a half out of five, personally. And uh, like I said, that's uh, I don't think that's going to be a controversial statement because I think there's a lot of people that don't particularly like this movie, but you like the, the reputation and the history and the kind of like... Uh, just all this aura that the movie seems to have developed over the years, whether or not that was a, you know, a deserving one or not. You do get good effects in here, here and there. They're not Tom Savini level, but they're decent. Uh, you just get weird stuff, stuff you can laugh about later. Acting that you can make fun of, you know, you get that type of stuff. And Severin gives it all to you here with a Blu-ray and a 4K disc. Also, if you want to, and I don't know, if you're going to be popping at the bit for this, but you can also use the reverse cover of the Nightmare and a Damaged Brain cover, so which has a lot of gore. Hopefully, I don't get tagged in that, but nonetheless, this is from Severin. It's out now. It looks better than it should, even though it's not necessarily an amazing transfer. It has a lot more extras that are maybe even more interesting than the movie itself, and it is the best version you're going to find of this movie, so... There it is, Nightmare, aka Nightmare Damaged Brain, Severn Films. Uh, there's some versions that have a nice little slip cover, this one don't, but get it now, and uh, if you like weird, strange movies.